Now we will try to do investment problem using two variables. The question here is an investment fund has dollar three thousand more invested at eight percent than it does at ten percent. If the annual return from both investments is same, how much is invested at each rate? So let us assume that amount X and Y are interested are invested at each rate. So let X be invested at 8% and Y be invested at 10%. Let's assume that. Okay. Now it says an investment fund has 3000 more invested at 8% than it does at 10%. So at 8% it is 3000 more. That means we get our equation that X is equals to Y plus 3000. Do you see that? 3000 more invested at 8%. So we get one equation. Now the second equation is if the annual return from both investments is same, how much is invested at each rate? Now what is the return on investment? Return on investment is interest, which is principal times rate times time. Now in our case, we are assuming X to be invested in 8% and Y to be invested in 10%. Therefore, our earning from 8% will be how much? X is the amount times rate is 8%. That means 8 over 100 times T is 1 year annual. This is from X amount invested at 8%. Now, if the annual return from both is same, that means we have to equate it to investment return from Y percent. So, Y percent will be Y times 10%, which is 10 over 100 times 1. So, we get our equation. Now, in this equation, we can replace value of x with y plus 3000, find y and then x. We can do that. So, x is y plus 3000. Let me replace this x with y plus 3000. So, I get y plus 3000 times 8 over 100. So, we can cancel these numbers over 100 so that we are not working anymore in decimals. So, we'll just write times 8, right? So, we just cancelled 100 from both sides. So we get times 8 is equal to 10 times y. Correct? Now let's expand it, which is 8y plus 24,000 equals to 10y. Let's bring y's together on the right side. So we get 24,000 equals to 10y minus 8y. And that gives us 24,000 equals to 2 times y. And from here, we can write down our answer, right? So our answer is, we have 2y equals to 24,000, or y is divided by 2, 12,000. So that is the value of y. If y is 12,000, what is x? x is 3,000 more. So it's 12,000 plus 3,000 which is 15,000. So these are the investments, right? So we have an investment of 15,000 at 8% and investment of 12,000 at 10%, right? So those are the answers. So now we can write down our answer. And the answer is investment of dollar 15,000 at so x was 8 percent and dollar 12,000 at 10 percent. So that is our answer. So have a close look at it and try to understand how we did it. This is a neat way of doing it. 
using two variables. Now in the next example which is kind of similar, I will try to do it with one variable. It may be slightly cumbersome there, but try to understand how we can even do similar questions with one variable. right? With two variables, we have done so many examples in this series and I hope you appreciate and understand how it is to be done. Thank you for your patience and trying the questions out. Thanks a lot.